Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of season two of Factorial Workshop, Building a Better Factory. And as with last season, I am joined by Matt Zuri. Greetings. And today we are starting off this season with some steam power setups because with 015 update, uh, steam power and boilers and the engines themselves have all changed in multiple ways. And I think it's it's good to start this out with some, some decent power setups to kind of get your factory started. So Zuri has set up some different designs here and uh, I'll let you kind of just go over these. Sure. The first two up here are one offshore pump designs. And you'll notice that instead of pumping 60 a second, it's 1200 a second. So the pumping is just scaled up by a factor of 20. And coincidentally, as far as I can tell, the uh, the old flow maximums are also just scaled up by a factor of 20. So when I used to say limit to limit flow to 90 per second is now effectively limit flow to 1800 a second. Right, which is a very good point. Also, since these are more effective, you uh, you run out of belt. I guess it's way to put it, because one offshore pump and will eat just about a full belt of coal. Right. And the ratios are now 1, 20, 40. I believe I got that right. Yep, yep. So one boiler, or one boiler, one pump to... 20 boilers to 40 steam engines and uh yeah these new boilers are extremely fuel hungry when i open one here you can see just how fast this is eating this coal so one yellow belt is uh it gets eaten pretty darn quick yeah i still like to use the burner inserters which means i'm limited to yellow belt throughput and the burner inserters are to prevent the positive feedback death spiral yeah and here's yeah, the 1.5 pumps version down here. Mm -hmm. So this eats more than a belt of coal, so I'm feeding it with uh, solid fuel. Yep, and you can see that even eats it up fairly quickly within the boiler. Yeah, you'll, you'll see it on the end here. Just how much of solid fuel it's eating. Yeah, which is pretty ridiculous, just how fast this belt is moving that's how fast it's eating it <laughs> but uh but yeah so you have on this setup this is essentially the equivalent to the 1.5 uh 2015 setup that we had in 014 um this is just pretty much that but with the new mechanics and changes so you have your one and a half to uh, 30 boilers to 60 steam engines per side yeah, and I've tried testing it to see what the max I can get, like the max number of offshore pumps. And two offshore pumps just couldn't make it to the end, to the max number that they should be able to. So more than one and a half is just wasting. Never put, like, two offshore pumps on the same pipe. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good point. So, so yeah, this one, uh, just to confirm, you know, 120 steam engines... Per, so and also something worth mentioning that's very important is these steam engines have been buffed uh, the steam engines now provide 90 kilowatts worth of power uh for up from the 510 kilowatts that they produced in 014 so that means that this setup can actually produce about 108 megawatts worth of power this uh setup right here which is pretty significant. Yeah, we we uh, tried to get something like the old builds working, but there's way too many flow glitches. Mm -hmm. It might be working now after we tore down a third of it and then disabled the power and re-enabled the power draw, but it's still way too finicky. Yeah, it uh, this right here is the same. This is a. This is one twenty forty, I think, is what we have here, per side. Yeah, it is now currently one twenty forty, and we were supposed to remove one of these offshore pumps. 
Okay, so this is 12040. It's just built in a straight line. And you can see that even with this, this is huge. I'm um, just building a straight line. When, before, we tried the, the like three pumps total to the you know 30 boilers per side to the 60 steam engines per side. And it went all the way out to where um, on my map you can see this like chunk of engines by themselves. It went to the end of that, which was pretty ridiculous. And... Yeah, so building a straight line like this, if you want to, go for it. It's more shore efficient, but it's not very space efficient in a general sense because it takes up a ton of vertical space. Yeah, there's a lot of wasted space, the extra pipes. Mm -hmm. And the boilers used to go all the way up to the shore. Yeah. And... um. Also, what what we meant in terms of the fluid glitches is it seems like if you like hook this stuff up while there's a full power draw on, it kind of glitches out and makes it so these don't actually get enough steam. And also it seems like the order in which you place stuff kind of matters. I know that that's an issue or was an issue with the heat pipes for nuclear as well, that like the order you place them in determined how well they worked, which seems a little bit silly. But, uh, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. And, I mean, one thing we didn't cover, but it's pretty straightforward, is that there's now steam, um, actual, like, a, like an actual steam fluid, because before the boilers would just heat water and send heated water into the engines, and the engines would, I guess, internally make steam and then power. But these boilers now take in water from the this side here where you see the little water symbol, take the fuel in, heat it, and output heated steam at 165 degrees. Send it through, and you can actually transport this in uh, fluid tankers, which is pretty interesting. Uh, you cannot barrel it, but you can send it in fluid tankers, and then it just goes into the steam engines. The max they can use is 165 degrees, and they output power just like they always did. And really, I, th I think that pretty much covers it. You know, there's there's going to be uh, more setups, obviously, as we continue. And this is only the first week. But these are some pretty, you know, tried and true setups with perfect, pretty much perfect ratios and stuff that all work. And some different designs. There will be a blueprint string for each one of these, except for the long one, because it doesn't work particularly well uh, in the description. And any last thoughts or comments here, Zuri? Nope. Keep the designs coming in, though. Let's see what you've got. Yeah, for sure. We will uh, we'll start accepting submissions here soon. Uh, I'm still in the process of setting up a better submission process. Um, it'll be some sort of form. So hopefully I can get that set up within the next couple of days. And we would love to start looking at your designs then. So as always, guys, we would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoy, feel free to leave a like. And until next time, we will catch you later. Later.